back to our World Spine Day 2019 celebrations. Today we're going to educate you a little on scoliosis. We all know someone who have either said they have scoliosis or perhaps yourself you found that you have scoliosis. So what is scoliosis? Scoliosis is a lateral bending or left to right bending of the spine. Therefore you might find that the spine instead of being nice and straight curves a little to the right or to the left. Generally, we find these curves in the mid-back or into the lower back. Scoliosis is normally very visible and can be diagnosed just through sight. However, an x-ray is often taken and certain angles measured to determine the severity of the scoliosis. So, when you walk into a practitioner's rooms, what do we look for? We look for obviously the obvious bending of the spine. However, patients may even have a bit of a curve or bend to the one side. We also often see a difference in shoulder height. A lot of ladies often um, complain of their handbag falling off the one shoulder constantly or clothes not fitting evenly on side to side. Although scoliosis can be very symptomatic and come in a lot of different forms, we can even find that um, a random routine x-ray could pick up a scoliosis that you may have never realized that you have. So often we find that people have chronic mid-back to lower back pain. As we uh, see them, we find that they do have a mild um, degree of the scoliosis. So what are the causes of scoliosis? Scoliosis has two main categories. First category being functional and the second one being structural. So a functional scoliosis is the better form of scoliosis. This has no... Um, actual effect on the bones itself. It's more muscular imbalance or maybe even a leg length discrepancy. So this is a really nice form in terms of us being able to help chiropractors, biokineticists, Pilates instructors. We're all able to help with getting that balance between the muscles because obviously as the spine curves to the one side you find that all those muscles are stretched and on the other side all those muscles are being compressed. So working out of all of that, strengthening up the correct muscles, definitely has a great effect on that. Chiropractors also work specifically on mobilizing that area and getting those joints moving correctly again so that you can have less pain. Right, the structural form is a little more complicated. This is more of a rigid scoliosis. We find that patients have a lot more pain in these areas and um, it ranges widely. We can have a scoliosis occurring at a very young age, sometimes even from birth, depending on a deformity, to only picking it up a little later in life. If we find that a young child comes in and is struggling from a scoliosis that has a quite a, de a severe form, we would definitely be referring and for the specialist to brace them, and that really, really helps in prevention of further um, curving. So it's really important for all the parents out there, please have a look at your kid's posture. If you find that the one shoulder is a little down or they have that curved motion, please look at them and you'll be able to see the curves for yourself so we can pick it up at a really young age and get them started on a great program. So even for these more severe types of scoliosis, it's really, really important to get those joints moving optimally and getting all the muscle imbalances correct. So Exercise is super, super important in these patients, as well as helping mobilize the areas. In severe cases, we may even be concerned of pulmonary problems, and then we would definitely be referring and working closely with other practitioners. So these are really, really important things to look out for. Um, but conservative treatment is great for scoliosis, so please check yourselves out. Have a look at the person next to you, see if their spines are looking straight, if you have any queries ever, I'd rather come into the offices and we can get it checked out. Hope you learned a little today and enjoy your World's Fine Day celebrations.